Yo, what's up guys? Uh, today we're playing this game called Tycoon RNG. And um, surprisingly, this is the first RNG game that's actually good. Alright, let me explain why. So as y'all know, I kind of made a video sort of dissing Souls RNG. Yeah, so like I sort of dissed the game because it was RNG. It was completely luck based. There was really no point to the game. But in this game, like it's actually strategic and skill based. Like... There's a certain level of like strategy in this game that is way better than just like other RNG games that are just straight up luck based. But what I mean by this is so basically you all know what a tycoon is, right? You got choppers, you got upgraders, and then you have the little thing at the end that kind of like processes it. So basically why this game is skill based is you roll like stuff right like if i roll this i get overclocked iron mine so basically this is like a dropper right and each dropper has its own like separate stats like if i hover over this dropper right it drops 320 something per second but it's also two times magnetic so there's like each dropper has like a statistic and like some droppers might be vulnerable to like certain upgraders. So that's why this game is kind of strategic because like if you have a fire vulnerable dropper, you can't just have like a bunch of fire stuff everywhere. You have to strategically place your upgraders so you don't burn your ores or whatever you want to call that. But it's like super strategic and then you have your processor, right? Each processor has its own statistic too. It No matter what, it's going to multiply it. But there could be an extra multiplier if it has some certain like statistic on it. So this says extra 1.6 if aired. And since all my blocks are aired, it's going to times it by like 1.6. Yeah, but it's like super cool anyways. But not only are you rolling like upgraders, droppers, processors, whatnot. You can also get these blocks that are around the world. And like if you collect one, right, it goes in your inventory. You have all these blocks. You can actually use them to increase your luck on rolls or the speed of the, like the roll. Or you can also upgrade your income. But not only can you use these blocks to just use them for whatnot. Also, there's like some super rare blocks too but basically you can also use them to buy auras and that's why i like this game's just better than souls rng not only are you are you collecting auras but you're actually trying to make like income and whatnot but yeah you can like craft auras with the blocks it's actually really cool yeah but there's also like there's a lot of math that goes in this game and there's a whole Discord server that explains a lot of the strategies. Like, you can make, like, air tycoons, acid tycoons. There's a lot of just strategy to the game, which most RNG games don't have, which, which automatically makes this game better. I still don't understand why only 20,000 people are, are playing and not, like, 100,000. Because, like, Souls RNG has 100,000. All you're doing is getting auras. It's just... It's frustrating seeing those games succeed, and then this game... Well, I mean, this game is succeeding much more than the average game, but still. This game's really cool. Anyways, not only can you, like, buy stuff and whatnot, you can also buy upgrades, increase walk speed, which actually helps a lot for, like, collecting blocks and whatnot. But yeah, you can upgrade your Tycoon, and when you upgrade your Tycoon, you get more places to, like place processors and droppers not processors upgraders but yeah there is a lot of strategy in this game and i think it's definitely worth playing i know some people aren't interested in like luck but this obviously this game has luck because it's an rng game but it also does have strategy but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video bye